Today on Hop Up Beer Review, we're going to be reviewing Miss Brown from Fly Llama Brewing out of Biloxi, Mississippi. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We appreciate you checking out this video and hope you will hang out with us here for today's review. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I am Ben. What are we drinking today, gentlemen? We are going to have the Miss Brown from Fly Llama Brewing. This is a beast. I'm excited. It even it's makes me change night. colors. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Andy? Oh. I said it's fat beer night. Yeah. It's like, uh, this thing's got its own zip code. Jeez. Nice, got us uh, all a crowler. Yeah, nice 32, 32 ounce crowler. <laughs> so, yeah, I went to the brewery a few weeks back and uh, picked this one up to bring back. You spoil us. I do. I do. So it should be fresh. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's good. Okay. When, but normally crowlers aren't going to explode at all. Oh, oh yeah. look at Ben's flex. He's oh, got oh, yeah. the mug. He's got the tap handle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Between between the merch and the beer, uh, I spent just a little bit of money at Fly Lama. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Fly Lama likes you to visit. Uh, so, uh, yes, and it pours very difficult to pour, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird coming out of the crowler. It just yeah. rolls off the edge. Yeah, the lip is a little uh, a little far, but you know, we'll figure it out. Hmm. Make some room up. Here's mates. Here's mates. Here's mates. Some coffee in that? Definitely tastes like it. This is 5.1%. It's an, an English brown ale. But that's all we know. Uh, I went to the website. There's no descriptions about it. it. It's not their flagship. I think they only have two technical flagships. They're pale <clears> and they're um, the pale and the fly PA. Which Double what? Fly, fly PA? PA? Yeah. Uh, so Fly Llama Brewing, Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, it's a micro. Started in uh, January 2021. Very pleased that we could get another um, state brewery here. So raise your pints, y'all. Not much so to it, go by. <laughs> is it Miss Brown or Mrs. Brown or Miss Brown? Miss Brown. Miss Brown. Mrs. Brown, if you're nasty. So get down on it. Uh, okay. Not some pop culture, guys. So uh, <laughs> they, so, they, they make hard seltzers as well the founder um, is an advanced cicerone the only one in mississippi evidently there's different levels of cicerone he's an advanced cicerone and he's only one of 139 in the world wow um, he's originally from the milwaukee area did some uh he went to the um school schooled in chicago the brewing and uh, in 2014, he came down to Gulfport, Mississippi, and helped to start Chandelier or Chandelier um, Island Brewing Company, and then or Chandelier Island Brewery. And then did you get to meet him, Ben? You didn't did throw down your business card, and I did throw down the business it. card, but uh, no, he, I, I don't believe he was there. Uh, you didn't get you didn't get any swag out of it. I did not. I mean, I got some swag, but it was swag I paid for. <laughs> so, <Lots of> swag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have yeah. bought it. Yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. trade-off or anything like that. Yeah. 
So yeah, I went down to the brewery. Uh, I'm actually wearing my Biloxi Brewing Company shirt because the location where this was uh, is actually the, it's the same same building, same brewery um, where Biloxi used to be. Uh, mm-hmm. They have um, renovated the tap room area uh, a little bit, made it about twice as big as it was when Biloxi had it, and you know added some more tables, added a shuffleboard table. Um, so, uh, they've, they've made it uh, a little bit better of a space and had a lot more beer on tap than Biloxi did, uh, the two times that I went to their, uh, to that location when it was Biloxi. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's, I, I had a couple flights there. Um, they did have a lot of seltzers on, on draft as well. They also had, uh, two slushy flavors that were, uh, made with, I think, either beer or seltzer, depending on, uh, you know, what they were making for that week. And uh, the the bartender mentioned that they changed them out once a week and did different flavors every time they, you know, were changing them out. So, um, so that was interesting too. Uh, I didn't personally have any of the slushy, but my wife uh, and her sister did, who I was with, and they both said it was great. Um, so. Uh, it's a neat little, neat little spot, um, not too far uh, from kind of the main drag down there in Biloxi, and uh, yeah, enjoyed enjoyed the time that I had there, and got this crowler for us to try, and got uh, one other uh, for myself that I did, I'm not sh- that I didn't share because it's gone now, um, but but uh, all in all, it was a lot of a lot of good beer. We don't see a lot of their beer canned in central Mississippi. And I'm guessing you probably see even less in Northern Mississippi. Um, yeah. but they have, a uh, is, is the, the pale ale, is that their Bridget? So that, that, do you know if that's the name of it? They have one, they have one named Bridget that I see. They do have one named Bridget. That I see fairly often. It may be a blonde. Anyway, um, they, they, the beers that I had on draft were, were great and I would definitely recommend anybody check them out if you are in the area. Bridget is their Belgian blonde. Belgian blonde, yeah. <laughs> their most popular I think I've had that is the, the Fly PA. I think I've had their Bridget. It was good. I've had yeah. their Belgian blonde. Then they have a Fly Logger. Like the Lama. Yes, yep. So, yeah. I, uh, I looked high and low. It wasn't on their website. I looked up. And the reason I know this guy's from Milwaukee, because I was looking up stories and videos of anything I could to see why in the world it's called Fly Llama. That's how I know this guy's from Milwaukee, because his old high school was interviewing him, you know, about this. (laughs) I looked at other people's reviews of it, of the brewery on video. I I really like to know what's where they got Fly Llama. So if anybody knows, please comment. I was going to ask you, Andy, if you came across that and the logo or the, I spent the name. So much time without finding information. <laughs> you spent more than enough time looking, then, huh? Yeah. I want to say there was. I want to say either it was mentioned while I was there, or they had something on the wall that talked about it. That does not. Maybe, maybe I'm just making that up. I could just. You know, most of us would kind of pay attention to that or take a picture of it if there's something on the yeah. wall. And, hey, I mean, cool. I'm in the <laughs> but the the wall the walls have a lot of art with llamas as the focal, yeah, like almost like portraits of llamas and and different arm and poses and things like that. Yeah, the uh, I remember the ladies' room has uh, LL on it. It um, says ladies. I'm sorry. Chairs. The ladies' room and the tap room is right by the bar. I mean, so you were in the okay. ladies' room. Yeah. yeah no, yeah, I didn't go in the ladies' room. room. Uh, oh, okay. I went to the men's, but uh, it said oh. it's the lads, and it's L L A D S, and the ladies was L L eighties. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to feel pretty confident in saying neither one of you have had this before. I think only 37 <laughs> people have actually had it on Monday. Yeah, there's not a lot of reviews on this one. So per hopped up beer review tradition, if you've had it, you go last. Guess who has had it? 
All right. <laughs> Andy, why don't you go first? I like it. It's a great brown. I'm, I'm a fan of brown ales when done right. I'm like an English brown. Uh, and I got a little coffee out of it, which I might not like that. And it's got a good balance. And I mean, it's good that I could drink this over and over because there's 32 ounces of this thing. There's double the beer here. I'm I'm very pleased. Uh, it's not too malty. Very little um, bitter on the back end. Uh, like I said, it's got a lingering mild coffee feel, and that pleases me. I'm going to give it an 8.0. Good job. All right, Jake. Yeah. Oh, me and coffee. <laughs> yeah, me and coffee. <laughs> yeah. I didn't bring this so, back just because I know you don't like coffee, Jay. Just, just to I, throw I that up. Um, it, it's not overpowering. It's a mild coffee flavor. It's you know some of those I've had uh, with the mild coffee flavor I enjoy. Um, this one, <clears throat> it, it's good. It's got a nice roasty flavor to it across the board. Good brown ale. Um, I think I'll probably have to rate this one. Uh, Oh, let's see. Where am I gonna go? Let's go with the seven and a half. It's 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 really good, man. I appreciate you bringing it. Yep, absolutely. Um, so you know, it's really difficult, Jay. I know you've you've done this before, where you brought back a crowler, and and the whole thing is like, you know, which one do I bring back? Especially when there's so many on draft, you know. So, um, you know, I know there were a lot of options that had a lot of IPAs, you know, which I'm not going to bring back, obviously. That's <laughs> um, but, you know, I mean, we've had a few Browns on the show. We haven't done just a ton of them. So I wanted to bring back the Brown, but I also wanted to bring about because it was for me, of the beers that I had there, it was, this was one of the better ones, but just for my mm-hmm. taste. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one having it, you know, there at the, at the tap room at the brewery. Um, so, you know, it was an obvious choice for me to bring back and share with you guys. Um, yeah, everything you guys are saying, it, the, the coffee is, it's very, it, it's very light. Um, it's there. It's the, you know, one of the flavors that you, you, I think it's easy to pick out for, for just about anybody. Um, but it's not, it's not a heavy coffee and the beer itself is, has a real, um, it has a real light flavor you know it's not heavy anywhere um so i think this one i mean even for a brown is almost crushable in that sense that you know i mean i I hope so given that we've got such a big amount here um but overall it's uh it's just a great brown uh it's eight and a half for me and uh really really enjoy it so yeah yeah i think it's you know, I said coffee, and it's it's like coffee. It's more roasted than coffee. Mm-hmm. I think that's what I'm picking out. Yep. But it's great. <clears throat> good good yep. grab. Or good lift. I mean, this hard to grab this, especially you had to bring back three of them. It's like, ugh. Yeah, plus the other two that I bought for myself. So, uh, you know, It'll and the mug and that. the tap handle. You know, it's just yeah, really got my workout for the day, so. You walk to the mailbox. <laughs> See the sweat. Yeah. Stuff. That is going to be an eight for the Miss Brown from Fly Lama Brewing out of Biloxi, Mississippi. Definitely, uh, I think, a great brown all around. And one that if you ever come across any Fly Lama beer, uh, I, I think at least the two of us that live in the state of Mississippi would love for you to buy some because that means that they're more likely to stick around and produce more great beer. So uh, we always like to support our local breweries, as I know Jay likes to uh, support the breweries where he is located as well. So if you're nowhere close to Mississippi or Alabama, support the breweries in your area and buy some local beer as well. Uh, With that, be sure to like, subscribe, cheers, that notification bell. Check us out on all the social medias down below in the description. And come say hey on our Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server. It's a chat room. We would love to have you pop in there and chat with the three of us as well as the others who have joined us. 
If you want to pick up some Hopped Up Beer Review merch, there is a link down below for that as well. Uh, you could probably pick up some Fly Llama merch on their website too, if you want to do that. I mean, I've got a couple things here from, from them. Uh, some good stuff and some good Hopped Up Beer Review shirt, koozie, glass, other things. Go check it out. For Andy in the Attic and Jay, I am Ben. Thank you for watching. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.